In this episode, I want to show you how beautiful Korean countryside really is. Korea has unbelievably beautiful mountainous nature, rich seas, peaceful countryside temples, and even fresh air and clear skies. But you have to get out of Seoul to really experience it. We took a bus from Seoul Central City Terminal to Mokpo in Cholanamdo Province, which is located in the southwestern part of Korea. And the bus is very comfortable. One of my favorite things about Korean food are all the panchan side dishes you get when you order any food. Cholanamdo is especially famous for having many panchans with the meal. And when you have these tasty panchans, it doesn't really matter what is the main dish. Food is running away. <laughs> After having our first lunch in Mokpo, we did a small hike to Yudalsan mountain. It's only a 228 meter high mountain, but you can get a really nice view of the city from here. Mokpo is an important port city that has three harbors. Population is around 250,000 people. There is not that much sightseeing to do in the city, but that has never been most important to me. I liked the atmosphere and it was different than any other place I had been in Korea. Mokpo is definitely a city that has some character. We continued walking a bit more around the city and ended up in the local fish market where we tried some Hongo Kwe, raw skate fish. Mokpo is famous for Hongo and it was nice to try Hongo Kwe here. Actually it was my first time to eat it fresh and raw. Usually Koreans eat this fish fermented and it's probably the smelliest food I know. Then we took a taxi to another fish market at the port. This is where we had a huge seafood feast for dinner. First we chose the fish and few other things to eat. This is the hesam. This is the monke. Kebur. And then headed to the restaurant upstairs, where they prepared everything for us. Look at all the panchans. When it comes to Korean raw fish, you shouldn't compare it with the Japanese sashimi. It is very different. Korean hue is roughly chopped into bite-sized pieces and it's traditionally dipped into vinegary gochujang. And just like Korean barbecue, it's served with red cheese and you can wrap the fish into lettuce or perilla leaves. The meal is often finished with meontang, which is a fish soup made from the fish leftovers used for the sashimi. And as always, soju is the best companion for the meal. The first modern day tragedy in Korea happened on 16th of April 2014. Several passenger ferry was on the way from Incheon towards Jeju-do when something went horribly wrong. The ferry started slowly sinking and took lives of over 300 people. Most of them were school children from Dangwon High School. The captain abandoned the ship when most passengers were still trapped inside the sinking ferry. One month later, he was charged for murder and is now serving a life sentence in prison. The ferry is now in Mokpo Newport and is still under investigation.
After another punch and filled meal, it was time to head east to Sunchong. Emoy, Emoy, where are we? <laughs> Sunchong. There should be a lot of stuff to see here. Some nice temples, beautiful nature, mountains, and the sea, of course. My friend is just getting a rental car for us. And having a car here is definitely a must if you want to see many places in a short time. The population of Sumchon is around same as in Mokpo, but there is a lot more to see here and the distances are quite long. At first we went to see one of the most important temples in Korea. This is Sung Kwang Sa Temple. It is perfect weather, very sunny and a nice cooling breeze. Mood is just so peaceful and everything is perfect. behind me are for Buddha's birthday. Buddha's birthday is on May 12th. My favorite place in Suncheon was Nagan Ypsong. It is a well-preserved folk village surrounded by the mountains and the fortress walls. And there are still people living in these traditional houses. And I guess some drama was filmed here too. This is the place where the movie De Changkun was filmed. Really? What's that? Anyways, this place was absolutely stunning when the sun was setting. Really magical atmosphere. At this point we were getting pretty hungry and we had some quick snacks before another Korean sashimi dinner. This time we chose two different fish. First one was a flounder, which is probably the most common fish to eat as sashimi in Korea. The second fish we had was a saltwater eel. It was my first time to try it raw and I had to say it was really tasty after getting used to the small bones. The texture made it more special actually. The meal was finished with probably the best meontang I ever had. I loved the herb they had used for the broth. So damn tasty, fresh minty flavor. I really highly recommend everyone to traveling in Korea to go outside of Seoul and see these places in the countryside. I just love it here so much. It's so peaceful and the places are very special. It's just unbelievably beautiful. I really can't stress enough how much I love Korean countryside. Here we are in some completely random park on the seaside where we ended up while looking for a beach. Always fun to get lost and find something interesting. But now I'm hungry! For lunch we had some really nice and interesting local specialties. She ordered komak bibimbap, which is a bibimbap with a type of a shellfish called koko. It was one of the best bibimbaps I had for a long while and she loved it too. Everyone else ordered chang tungo tang, which is a local mudfish soup. It had quite an earthy and healthy, almost medicinal flavor. Really tasty too. The fish itself was so soft it completely dissolved in the soup. These mudfish is actually very common in Suncheon and next we went to see them in their natural habitat in Suncheon Bay Wetland Reserve. This is a swampy land, something between land and sea. A wonderful place for every nature lover. Look at those two. <laughs> they look so crazy. We 
also visited Sunchon Bay National Garden, which is close to the bay. I must admit I didn't have that high expectations for it, so I was happy it surprised me positively. It's a really huge garden. Well, actually it has many different kind of gardens in it. We mainly spent our time in the Korean garden, which was very beautiful and relaxing place with almost temple-like atmosphere. Before taking the bus back to Seoul, we had some Korean savory pancakes and these little deep fried crabs. I believe these were the same kind of crabs we just saw in Suncheon Bay. They might be small but man they are packed with flavor. One of my favorites in the whole trip for sure. And by the way, I don't think these are soft shell crabs, so they are pretty crunchy. I guess at this point it's needless to say that I'm really a huge fan of Korean countryside. I have traveled east, west, north and south in this country through the years and I still remember all of those trips so well. There are so many nice cities and places to discover and most travelers only go to Seoul or maybe Busan and that's a big shame. So I encourage you to take that bus or train out of Seoul and I guarantee you will experience something very special like we did in Suncheon and Mokpo. 